How did the universe start? What is keeping us attached to this planet? Why is it so hard to leave and where do we all come from? All of this on today's amazing video, Top 7 Mysteries That Even Scientists Can't Explain. Starting our countdown with number 7, we have the Bone Lake. There have been mass graves found all over the world and usually they bring up some sort of questions as to why all these people died in the same place, and with the Bone Lake, also known as Skeleton Lake, the tale is no different. To find this place you need to head 1,600 feet above sea level it's located in the Himalayas. The lake is fresh water and fills up with the melting snow that comes down from the mountain. But when winter rolls around and the water levels drop, it reveals that there are at least 300 skeletons laid out in this water. People think this could have been a mass sacrifice. A horde of people were taken up there and some of them were sacrificed for some sort of religion or maybe this was a place a local tribe would take infected people as a plague passed through. There's also the chance that these 300 people were some sort of nomadic tribe that was traveling through the and stopped to rest but then got caught in a snowstorm. Whatever it was we have no idea to this day. Up next at number 6, we have time travel. Can we speed this one up already? Let's get this time travel going. I want to shake things up in the timeline. Like what if I went back in time and made people in the 1800s listen to hip-hop, do you think they would like it? Or would they just burn me at the stake for being a witch? But even though movies have told us for the longest time that this is something we should be doing, science still says it's not happening. Stephen Hawking has said that it's impossible but we'll see. Only time can tell. Hey guys. If you are enjoying the video so far, take some time right now to hit that like button. And when you're at it, subscribe and turn on the notifications, so you don't miss any of our future content. Coming up next is number 5, how the universe started. I mean we have our theories as to how it all came to be. For example, Dr. Manhattan was created in another timeline and then he created our timeline because he was so bored and wanted to watch an entire universe develop. It was that or the Big Bang, the idea that everything in existence came out of one singular moment. That there was nothing and then boom, everything shot out of one point in existence spread across the universe. Now this is the most favorable idea of how it all started, but no one was there to see it, so the best we got are theories and even if this theory is true what was there before this all kicked off? Was it a massive void of nothingness? If this is true what caused the Big Bang? Was there a universe before this one that maybe collapsed onto itself and got so condensed it had to explode? So many unanswered questions. Now at number 4 we have Amazonian geoglyphs. If you're unfamiliar with the term geoglyph, these things are basically massive markings in the ground that sometimes look like symbols. They sometimes look like maps or sometimes they just look like art. Different geoglyphs have popped up all over the world, and the Amazonian ones are some of the most impressive. There are hundreds of them that span through Brazil and Bolivia. Some of them are simple circles and others look more complex. Now the question is, why are these things here? Some people think these could have been meeting places laid down in the dirt, they could have been ceremonial, or they could have just been art. But even if scientists found out why they made these areas, the question then becomes, how? Personally, I think it was for sure all aliens. I mean I don't actually think that but it's always fun to blame aliens for anything we don't understand. Like where does my poop go after I flush it? That's for sure aliens. Who votes on who wins the Oscars? That's aliens. Moving on to number 3, we have how the universe will end. So if the Big Bang is real and everything came from one singular point, and the universe is always expanding, there's a chance that this could all end eventually. There's nothing that we know in the universe to be infinite, except for maybe the universe but the only reason we could think that the universe could be infinite is because we don't have the technology to see to the end of it. Now let's say the universe does have an end and at one point, it's all going to come crashing and how will this happen there are some theories floating around. One of them is the universe will literally be ripped apart from the inside out. If you don't already know, dark matter makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe, or so it's thought. Now this matter basically fills up the void we can't see. Well, there is a theory that there will be so much of this stuff floating around eventually, that it will push everything away and the universe will begin to get ripped apart. The other idea is the big crunch that the universe will fall onto itself. I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem like fun at all. Coming in at number 2 we have the Fermi Paradox. There has to be life somewhere in the universe right? 
There has to be a planet somewhere that has their version of FRIENDS somewhere with their whole cast of The Office. Now the Fermi paradox is that while it seems logical that there should be some life somewhere in the universe, why haven't we been able to make contact with any known aliens yet? Now there's a lot of theories as to why this could be happening. The one that most of you are probably thinking right now, is that we have made contact with aliens, but they're being kept secret from us. That only a few people in history have been the chosen ones, they get to talk to the aliens. There's the theory that the universe is so large that ever if a race of aliens was out there and is much more advanced than us, they're still too far away to make contact with us. So any of these could be true, or it could be the sad truth that we're all alone in the universe, but that theory is just no fun. Finally, at the number one spot, we have how life started. We don't know how this happened. There are a ton of theories about this, but even those are mostly about how life on Earth started. There's the idea of the primordial soup, which basically says there was a bunch of different molecules mixing together until the right combination hit just right, and now you got the first living thing ever. There's the idea that even though we are mostly built from DNA, that the first few light forms constructed were mostly RNA. There's also the idea that a meteor with some life on it came from deep space, it might have crashed into our planet and brought with the means to create life on this planet. But even with some of the brightest eggheads in the world trying to crack the code on this, we still have no idea how this happened. How we went from being loose molecules to living life and ordering Uber Eats. Alright guys that about brings us right to the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well catch you next time.